idea how terrifying this was going to be. <laughs> but, <I'm laughs> however, however, I am heartened by the fact that you are all naked. Um, I'm a researcher and a designer, and uh, I've even worked on some vessels that hold coffee. So I want to talk about the coffee experience that I've seen and, and all the blather that I've heard about coffee, all the stuff. And so my thesis statement is that there is so much bullshit around coffee. <laughs> Everybody knows this. It's self-evident. There are very few things that are important about coffee. There's a lot of bullshit around it. So um, I'd like to talk about the four things that are important. And um, I won't talk about all the bullshit that's unimportant, because then it wouldn't be a five-minute talk. So I put together a, uh, a handy little framework to uh, help us out here. The four things are all in parallel. They're in parallel importance. And then there's some inconsequential stuff down at the bottom. Now I'm going to fill those things in kind of magically as the timing of the slide goes. Really, really important up top. Um, ratio, if I get it right, ratio, grind, no, roast, grind, ratio, and temperature. And down at the bottom, um, method, not important, and variety, also not important. Um, so the roast, dark, of course. What else would it be? It has to be dark roast. Shiny, oily, lovely, so gorgeous like that. Yeah, so right and wrong. Um, grind, no matter what it tells you in the instructions, just do it finer than what it tells you. <laughs> you unlock all that extra surface area that the water can envelop and then kind of get the loveliness out of the coffee. Ratio. Also important to grind, uh, just like quadruple it. Uh, um, you know, you can always add more hot water, but if you have a weak cup, you got to start from the scratch again. You know, that's what happens. Now, temperature, like, I don't really care where you brew it, but I, how many cups of coffee have I got in my hand right from the barista, and they're tepid? It's like, come on, please, can we just like heat everything up along the way, please? Um, now, so method, I talked about this uh, earlier. Um, this is unimportant, be it a uh, stovetop espresso maker, the Mr. Coffee, the French press, you know, the globe, the drip, the filter. It's not important. You follow the other things, okay? Um, and variety, also not important. This may be an unpopular opinion, I know. Um, I, I'll be around later. You can assault me if you like. <laughs> um, um, so that's not important. And um, I would just like to say, uh, in conclusion, a couple of little thoughts. Bitterness, oh, you know, I'm trying to keep it not bitter for you, and I'm pouring it correctly. It's like, well, coffee's all about the bitter. That's the beauty of coffee. Like, please, like, this, bitter. Like, I like the bitter. The bitter's the good. Then the other thing is <laughs> pollutants. <laughs> I, thanks. I guess I don't have to say anything about that. That's awesome. You're so great to me. Thank you. Um, I have to give uh, some props to uh, Harry Frankfurt. He would have noticed the, the uh, misspelling of epilogue, certainly, as he is a PhD uh, at Princeton. Um, and he wrote a wonderful essay called On Bullshit. So that gave me the um, inspiration to title my uh, talk similarly to his. And, um, and that's really it. Uh, please uh, invite me for coffee or give me a shout. And and, and I will invite you for coffee, and I'll show you how I like to make it, and, um, and, I, and I will scorn you if you make yours uh, the way that I don't like it. Uh, and, and that's really about it. I just kind of like, I, I cheated in the end and had like four of the same slides. So, okay. <laughs>